Hello everybody and welcome to the Murray Music YouTube channel where today we're going to build a foot switch for a guitar amp. So my friend has a Fender amp and it just needs a one button foot switch in order to change from the clean and dirty channels. So I tested it out and I took a guitar cable, plugged it in and all it's looking for is a connection between your sleeve and your tip of the guitar cable in order to change the amp channels. So when they're connected, it's on the dirty channel. When they're open, it's on the clean channel. So all we need to do is build a little box that can do that. So I picked up this little guitar pedal enclosure, a quarter inch switch, or a quarter inch jack, and a foot switch. And then some tools that you're gonna need if you're gonna do this. We're gonna need some wire, some pliers and wire strippers are helpful. And you're gonna need some drill bits in order to drill the holes in the enclosure. So I prefer these step bits. They're the best thing really for drilling into aluminum. And a drill, obviously. And I think it's handy to have this uh, punch in order to get accurate holes started. And some painter's tape. And some kind of measuring device, a ruler or something like that. And I think lastly all you'll need is some kind of soldering iron. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is figure out where to lay out our components. So what I like to do for that is take some painter's tape and stick it down where I know I'm gonna wanna put my hole. And then I can take a pencil. I guess I didn't say that in the list of things you need. Sorry. But I can take my pencil and figure out where my middle point is on this uh, enclosure, mark that, and I can get figure out the spot I need my hole to be. So now that I know that, I can take my punch, put that on my mark, and I got a spot to drill. So I'm going to do the same thing. And then I can get out my drill. Alright, so usually I'd probably drill a pilot hole, but it's not totally necessary since we got that little divot at least. With stuff like this, I never uh, worry about what size the hole should be. I just keep drilling with the step bit until it fits. And there we go. All right, so we got everything in our pedal. Okay, so I got some wire here, and all I need to do is connect one of my tabs on my jack to the middle of my switch, and the other one to the other log of that switch, which means when it's switched in this direction, they won't be connected, and when it's switched over to this half, it will be connected. And this switch happens to have too many terminals, so we don't need to use all those. Just gotta put it all in here. And just go ahead and screw the bottom cover on. 
And there you go. It's all done.